January and February, Safari Live undertook its most ambitious project to date. Tracking team, tracking team, do you copy? An eight-week primetime TV series for Nat Geo Wild in the United States. The directors and producers forged into a stick machine, while presenters and cameramen learned an intimidating array of new television skills. Nervous tension intensified as the first day dawned. The passion, work and dedication of our fantastic crew combined to create a series of which we will be forever proud. Three, two, one, and you're alive, you're alive. Live with Brent. Welcome to dawn in the African bush and a very happy new year. We're right on fresh leopard tracks. This is Safari Live. Confirm you're going live. This is the most epic thing in the world, ever. I am on foot in the middle of the Kruger National Park, one of the largest true wilderness areas left in the world. Now, I think he might be trying to dig out a terrapin freshwater aquatic reptile or he could just be going for a sister's tail. That baby hippo is a matter of hours old, probably born in the early hours of this morning. Look at him! <laughs> Water is dripping down and of course we want to bring you Africa live with a rain or shine. They're, they're after a scrub here, they're after a scrub here. And they've caught it, they've caught it right next to us. Guys, some of you might find this a bit sensitive, but this is nature. And drive, drive, well done. I'm happy it's over, we did it. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Mary. Well deserved glass of champagne, Kirsty. <laughs> Very well deserved. Yeah, Kirsty's going to have all of those glasses of champagne. My highlight of the Safari Live series on Nat Geo Wild was definitely managing the social media and seeing all of the astounding interaction that we got from the fantastic viewers. My highlight is that we didn't mess up once and everything worked. That's my highlight. Entire eight weeks. I think my highlight was probably Tundi's cub with his giant ears. I think he's just adorable. We saw lots of cats, lots of animals, lots of Ellie's, baby hippo, and even Vladimir the Impaler. My highlights of the series were Matilda, <laughs> the mantis, in the final show. I thought she was quite nice. Oh, Matilda, the mantis. James was on the uke, he serenaded a mantis. I think that's probably my highlight of the series. And then I suppose the other highlight would have been the Nyala walking underneath the tree in which I was swaying in the wind. Thank you so much. So, oh, there's a Nyala behind me walking past. Hello. Thank you so much, move along, nothing to see here. There's just always content on the screen and obviously the royal family were the stars of the show. But it was so awesome to get lions right at the end because we haven't had them for so long. So. Hey girls, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? These lionesses are truly spectacular. But it's been a great series and I, I don't know, I loved it. What a, what a pleasure to finally have Dream Come True. Prime time series on Nat Geo Wild, live from the African bush. If you enjoy that little taste of Africa, click subscribe here on top of this baboon's skull and you can see more of the highlights from our daily African safaris. Then on the right here, if you click the little bell, you'll be notified every time we go live at dawn and dusk.